Hello everybody, I'm Schwan, and this is the first tutorial in the TragicServers.com series of how to manage your server. So, the first thing that we need to talk about is how to access the FTP for your server so you can drag and drop files and customize your server exactly the way you want it. But before we even get into that, there's a really important thing I want to go over, which is file extensions. So let's go ahead and open the control panel, and let's make sure these are on small icons. You know, you, you might look, yours might look like large icons, or they might look like this. Just, just make it small icons, because it's better. And then we'll go to folder options, okay? Now once we're into folder options, you'll see there's a view tab, we'll click on that. And if you scroll down, you're going to want to make sure that hide extensions for known file types is unchecked. That way... After every file name, you'll see a dot and then whatever the extension is. You know, CFG, BSP, DEM, LOG. Those are the TF2 ones that you need to be worried about. But make sure that make sure you have that setting correct so that when you're looking at files, you know what they are quickly and you don't upload the wrong thing. So, now that's over with. Let's switch over to an FTP client. So the FTP client we recommend is FileZilla. And there's two downloads on the FileZilla website. There's the client and then there's the server. A lot of people make the mistake of downloading the server. Do not make that mistake. Download the client. Once you have the client downloaded and installed, you'll have something that looks a lot like this. Um, now, I have this squeezed down to fit into a YouTube resolution, so it's kind of bunched up. But if you full screen it on your computer, it'll be way more roomy. Um, one thing I want to talk about first off is the local site is on the left. You'll see right here, local site. And these are all the files that are on your computer. And on the right side is your remote site, or the server you're connected to, and what files the server has, okay? But before, you'll see that nothing is over here on the remote site, and that's because we are not connected to a server. So the first thing you want to do is save your server's FTP information into the favorites of FileZilla. So let's just go over here, and if we zoom in here, we'll see that we can open the site manager, or we could press this drop-down. If we press the drop-down, that is all the servers that we currently manage okay but if we press the actual logo the site manager comes up and this is what we want so I'll go ahead and delete this one delete and we'll add a new site so we'll say new site and if you see the second you add it you have the ability to rename it in this window so we'll just call it tragic servers alright and it wants a host and it wants a port so let's go ahead and find that once you log into your control panel for tragic servers and you go to the file manager tab you will see your host name your port your username and your password so let's go ahead and copy copy the uh, host name go back to filezilla host name just goes in there and make sure when you copy and paste things you're careful not to like put a space at the end right so if, if there's a space at the end this would actually not work you need to make sure that there's no spaces and everything's in order now the port was 21 you don't technically have to put that because 21 is a default FTP for it, and FileZilla can figure that out. That's okay. We'll put 21 anyway. And you'll see this is another problem area. The username and password, we can't type that in. The, how, the way you change that is you go from logon type to anonymous to normal. Now you can have fields for username and password, and then you would type in your username, username, oops, username and then you type in your password, and then you'd press OK, and it would connect to you right now. Or no, it wouldn't. If you pressed OK, it would save it. And then, once you've saved it, it'll appear in this drop-down. And then you can just click on it. So I'll go ahead and go to the vector server one. It's connecting, it's connecting. And there it is. So, I'm in the vector server file system now. So this is the vector server, and this is my computer, remote, local. And there's a few features that I still want to go over about FileZilla. So let's go to this is the tf folder and let's say that you want to edit a config or you know anything what you could do is you could download this by double clicking on it and then it would appear in your current directory on your local site if you see the stopwatch over here right so and then you could open it from here edit it and then upload it back over here by dragging it and dropping it and pressing ok but there's another thing you can do let's say we want to edit this old sevo config that i have on here for some reason you would right click on it, view edit, it would come up and it didn't download this to any of the directory. Uh, any, uh, it didn't download this to your local site directory, it just opened it from the server. And if we make a change and we just say, okay, well, we'll make this, I don't know, we'll put Schwann was here, cool, and we save it, 
and we close it, it'll say, all right, well, you just made a change to that file. Would you like us to upload that change? You can press yes, and now, boom, it's changed. So we'll go, we'll just, and we'll double check. So if we view and edit, we get this option. We can reopen the local file, which is not what we want, and we want to discard whatever file has cached for this, and we want to open, make sure that we always press the second option, because it will always open the file as it is on the server. So we'll press OK. And you'll see that Schwann was here is in fact still there. There's a couple of things I want to talk about, and that's directories. So directories are folders. So if you wanted to make another folder for for any reason, now you can even do this on the local site area. But you know, if you were, I don't know, if you just want to make a folder, it's just an important thing to know. You can right click. I like to do it on this tree over here. So if you right click, if you right click on you know, where you'd want the folder to go. Like, I want it to go in the TF folder. I'll do create directory, and I'll ask you, okay, well, your directory is going to be created in the TF folder, and what do you want to call it? And we'll call it tragic video for now, and then you'll see down here is tragic video, the server. So that's how you create a directory. And then if you ever want to rename something, for instance, let's say that soap mod broke, or not soap mod, source mod broke, and your server won't start because you know you have, to, you have to wait till source mod updates and all that good stuff, which we'll get into in later videos. But let's just say you needed to rename something, you would just right click and you would go to rename and you're in. And you could just change it to, you know, add ons off. I'm not going to do that because currently source mod is working fine. And I, that's it. So that is how you change your folder options to make sure you see extensions, as you see over here, .dem and .cfg. And this is how you use FileZilla in a basic sense. Um, there's a few things I didn't go over, like down here, if you were to actually download something, down here it would say like the time left and you know what you're doing. And up here is the logging information, just you know what it's currently working on. And that's that's it for the video. So that's it for this introductory video. And make sure you look forward to more of the videos we're gonna make going a little bit deeper in to certain subjects about how to properly manage your server and get it the way you want it. I'm out.